it has come down to the final episode of our 2021 player review. And we'll end it with the third phase of football in the special teams unit. I thought overall our special teams was solid. I thought Greg Joseph, Mm -hmm. yeah, things happened over the season, but I thought overall he was a very steady kicker. Jordan Berry, I thought was an absolute steal at the punter position. Right. right. Uh, The kick return was solid and the punt return, the punt return was punt return is pretty, the punt return is pretty weak. But, that was pretty weak, but yeah. Uh, but overall, we I thought special kicker, teams was good. Uh, I thought uh, Ryan Ficken did a great job coaching them. Obviously, he's moved. He has now moved on. We got Mike, we, was it Mike, Dan- Mike Daniels, right, or Matt Daniels, Mike Daniels. Sorry, I butchered that. I have no idea. I I, I don't remember his name. Too many coaches coming in here trying to yeah. remember everybody. I believe it's Mike Daniels. So now we got yeah. him. We'll be able to see what he does. I, I think it is Mike Daniels. I, listening to, listening to his uh, his uh, press conference. I like what he's got to say. Sounds like we're going to move into a very, very aggressive style of special teams that he wants to go for blocks, wants to you know be reg- be aggressive and start on returns. It'll be nice okay. to see. I'm yeah. super excited for it. Obviously, though, that's next year. We're still looking at this last year. As I said, overall, I thought special teams. You have any thoughts before we get into the deeper yeah. player reviews next here? Next year, if we're playing aggressive, I don't care if that ball lands in the back of the end zone. You tell Kenny to take that shit out every single time. No touchbacks. Nothing. We got the best kick returner in the NFL. He's going to be the best of all time. All right, that's maybe going a little far. I don't know. But, I mean, this guy this guy's insane. I mean, his rookie season, we'll go into his stats. But, man, after go, digging in there a little bit, kind of gave me an idea of how special he really was this year. So yeah. I'm excited that's about right. that. But as far as uh, kicking, I thought I was pretty impressed for the most part. He hit some good kicks he missed. Obviously, we know he missed. There's a couple that he did miss that were big, um, like I think it was the Cardinals game, right? That was the first big miss. Yeah. Um, but then he came back, like what the game after or something like that, and hit an important one. You know, we have a couple. He hit like two game winners, I think, too. Right, right, right. Yeah, I think it, there's a couple, including the picture that I have on his uh, stat page that I made or whatever. Um, us, you know, carrying him and stuff like that, all pumped up. I, I would say the one concern that for me last year that was kind of annoying was he just missed some extra points that would end up hurting us in a couple games that we probably a lot of that was on the zims was kind of on zims game plan after missing the kicks because there's a lot of two-point conversion tries that we failed and stuff like that because of that extra kick missed um but other than that pretty solid jordan barry is phenomenal he's had a lot of uh a lot of good kicks inside the 20 yard line um we'll go into the stats on that and then like you said punting wasn't too great it wasn't too terrible it was probably better than last year so we'll say that and dd westbrook was kind of dealing with some injuries he just came back from an injury and stuff like that so who knows i, I don't as- assume i'm not going to assume that he'll be on our team next year I, I don't think he will be but maybe i don't know and maybe he'll be better because he's healthy and stuff he's you generally kind of one of the better punt returners if i remember correctly yeah but, anyways, but um, we'll, we'll jump into the stats here. Yeah. But before we do that, <laughs> everybody, thank you for watching GG Sport Podcast, podcast of the Minnesota Vikings, where we endure heartbreak, but I always bleed purple. Uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, get notifications when we make more videos. And yeah, keep watching. Thank you. Let's move All on. All right. Let's jump into it here. So we'll start off with the kicker, Greg Joseph. Uh, 33 of 38 on field goals, 86.8%. Extra points, 36 of 40, 90%. You'd like to see that a little bit higher. Uh, mm-hmm. 94 kickoffs, 76 touchbacks, 80, 80.9% of his kicks were touchbacks, and a 63.9 kickoff yardage average. Um, the bottom three, we don't you don't really care yeah, about. I just add them. Football. <laughs> it's, it's the top two that are the most important. Right, and I right, think right. 86.8. Fifth in the NFL and field goals made. That's very good. He was nails from from fifty plus yards. He only missed probably what two of those, I think. Something and one like of them that. being in the outdoors in Green Bay at the end of the year. Mm-hmm. Uh, as I said, the extra points a little bit concerning. And of course, obviously, when you go back to the field goals, the miss against Arizona was a heartbreaker. Of course, probably is one of the things that kept us out of the playoffs, among many other things. Obviously, not just mm-hmm. that, right. but um, you know, yeah. Then he came around and. Kick, kicked a couple of game winners, as you said. You know, he got a couple of these exits where they were carrying off, carrying him off the field. Overall, I think Greg Joseph kicked well enough to deserve a spot on this team next year. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. I definitely think he did. Um, you know, I'm not convinced that's what we'll do, but I think if he's our kicker next year, I'll be totally cool with that. I think he 
earn the right to be. And I mean, who knows? I mean, you know, without Mike Zimmer scaring the shit out of every kicker we've ever had, honestly, maybe anybody can come in and and kick all right for us. I don't know. Cause I, I don't know. There's something weird with that. So we'll see, but um, yeah, I'd be okay with him coming back. What do you yeah. think uh, for, for grades here? Uh, yeah. It's a tough one. Cause I, other than the other than the kick against Arizona, which really was a you know kick to the nuts, no pun intended. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give him a B plus still. It's the extra points, the extra that kick combined with the mix that missed extra points. I get it, it's only four, but those are things that those are ones you just you just can't miss, you know. So yeah. I think I'll give him a B plus. I think it's very fair. I mean, you probably could give him an A minus. I'm regretting my decision to give him a B plus now, but I'm I'm gonna stick with the B plus. So see, I'm actually gonna go even lower than you. And I'm gonna give him a B. I think um, you know, he did do a I think he did a really good job. I just think when you're talking about like if I was well, A plus is like the the Tuckers and stuff like that. And that's like impo- that you just don't ever miss at all. Oh. And you have those, or uh, what's his name from? Sucks that I freaking can't even think of his name from the Cincinnati. Just uh, like, Evan McPherson, yeah, the second most swaggiest guy in the NFL behind Burrow. And <laughs> and uh, yeah, you see a guy like that come in, and you know he those kind of kickers. I was those were like the A stats for for me. I I didn't feel that from him just because the extra point thing. If you know, the Cardinal thing we remember and stuff like that. And that was kind of brutal, but he bounced back from that to me, but it was just the extra points that, that kind of did it for me because I just don't yeah. think you should really miss those, but right. I agree. I agree. But it's I weird. Mean, I think I can go in there. It is, that. it is such a, it is such a mental game that, <laughs> okay. you know, them moving that extra point back. It did, you know, it, it is. didn't mess with the kicker's heads, but right. Yeah. But overall, I think very solid season. Like I said, I think he'll be back next year. Yeah. Um, right. I'm definitely cool with that. Yeah, moving on to punter, Jordan Berry, 78 punts. His longest punt was 64 yards, average of 46.5, and 28 punts inside the 20. He was, you know, shipped out of uh he was shipped out of Pittsburgh for their kicker Harvin mm-hmm. or their punter Harvin. And I thought Jordan Berry was an absolute stud. Thought he yeah. was a steal. Amazing. I mean, for what you will say about a punter, I thought he played amazingly and earned it. I think for sure he needs to be the punter on this team next year because he had a magical season. I would love to see him back. Yeah, I'd like to see him back, especially with a team where we don't ever have really good punters, like ever, like not that good. I mean, maybe we'll see some nice stretches or I don't know, not consistent. It'll be interesting if he comes back and has another really good season for us because that's what I'm not really used to. Um, I thought he did a fantastic job this year and if I had to pick who would we bring back him or um, Joseph, I actually would probably go with him if it came down to that. Cause yeah. I just, I, yeah, I don't know, but right. uh, let's grades. It, it, it's hard to talk more about a punch. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, grades on him. I'm going to give, I'm going to give him, I want to give, uh, I'll give him an A plus for he's a punter kicked well inside the 20, 28 of them. Yeah. Big big leg, sixty four yard long I mean, punt. I'll give yeah. him. I'll give him an A. I want to see that eighth go up to like a fi- top five next year, and then I'll give him his A plus. But you know, we'll keep that margin of error growing. You know. All right, let's move on to the returners here. Uh, Ooh, of course, Kenny Wangu. Uh, Eleven games, uh, 18, 18 returns, five hundred seventy nine yards, thirty two point two average. Uh, first, he was first in the league with at least five return attempts. The long of 99, and of course, what we know about this year with him, the two kick return touchdowns, especially in a you know, we hadn't seen we hadn't seen a lot of kick return touchdowns in the last few seasons. So seeing him get two was amazing. Uh yeah, very so eleven player, games, by the way. Right. Obviously, um season was shortened due to a hyperextended knee in the first first, I think his first action in the preseason, actually. Yeah. Uh kept him out until you know, seven games into the season or seven weeks into the season. Overall, still turned in a very, very solid year returning. I'd like to see what he can do a little bit more of the running back oh, position. But as a returner, yeah. he, we we have we have that spot solidified for at least the next three years. Yeah, and even the at least, I mean, this guy, even even he he had some nice plays on as a runner too. I thought. I mean, he was he's had a couple good runs and catches and all that stuff. So I'm excited to see more of that. I'm hoping we kind of use him in a little bit more of a gadget way going into next year. Um, 
or more than that, depending on what we do with Madison, uh, which we haven't really talked too much about yet. But, um, but yeah, man, I mean, just the average of 32.2, which is first with at least five returns. And I kind of just made that five up because he's actually, he's second out of anybody. I think there's one person in head of him who has a higher average per return. And that person had a one return. And I, f- I forgot who it was, but it was for Seattle. And he ended up scoring on that. So so he it was like 47 or something like that. So we're talking about like there was no one even close to that average that he had who also had 18 returns or even close, not even 10. Like no one was even cl- remotely close that had more than a couple um, returns. Yeah. And I think, I mean, that's, ins- that's pretty insane. Yeah. I, and that's I'm, why I give him an A plus plus. A plus plus. All right. Fair. I'll give him an A plus. Very solid season. <laughs> not much else. Not much else you could say about that. King Kenny, he's coming along. Yep. He'll be our kick returner for the rest of rest of his career. Rest so. of my life. <laughs> so, all right. Let's move on to D.D. Westbrook, uh, the Minnesota Vikings punt returner. 22 returns, 183 yards, 8.3 average first with at least five return attempts. The long of 45, and he did not score any touchdowns. I'll take mm-hmm. that. I must accidentally mess that up. That first with at least five returns is not correct. Okay. Well, that was almost of some reason. I don't know what I did there. Somehow Copy I put that from Kenny. So eight points. I mean, obviously punt returns, you don't see a lot of huge averages ever because there are so, I mean, punt coverages are pro. They're right. you know, pro players, pro personnel there. So obviously you don't see a lot of, hu- I mean, not many punt returns and not a lot of huge returns. So 8.3 is actually decently solid. He did have yeah. the one uh, 45 or 45 yard return later on in the season. Eh. Yeah, eh. I mean, like I I say, it's was... hard. It's hard to get a good punt return with coverages and stuff, but right, eh, you like you he hope was... to a little bit more. He was a middle of the pack, I would say. I mean, he didn't really do too much, but he had a couple of really nice ones, um, including that forty-five long one, which was one of the highest punt returns last season. So, and, and I know you mentioned too with the injury. Um, obviously that doesn't help. Especially, I believe it was a torn ACL that he was coming back from too. So obviously that you know, especially like. Especially on the like in the return game, you really got to you know get that push off right away. So trusting it, so I can probably see maybe why he he played a little bit safe with certain returns and stuff. So I'm not gonna you know I don't want to be too harsh on the guy. I'm sure I don't think he'll be here next year, but I think he will catch on somewhere else. In the past, he's been a very solid punt returner. So I, I still wasn't super impressed. If we're grading him, I'll give him probably a B minus. Just you know, I was expecting more, and that's pretty much all I got to say on the matter. Okay, okay. I thought you were gonna go. Uh lower than me on this one for some reason, but I'm going to go with C plus on this. I think. Yeah. I mean, he didn't wow or anything like that, but I do think it had something to do with coming back from the injury and all that stuff. But um, like you said, I I also don't expect him to come back next season, but I, that I am interested in to see who will be our punt returner. Um, You know, it could be ISM potentially because was he taking any punts? Man, I always get confused on who they debt like make who he, they let kick kick was, returns and punt returns. I think he's I like think a he was, combo. I think he was taking kick returns and punt returns in the preseason. He may have gotten in for a kick return in the regular season. I don't remember for sure. He did in the reg. He did in the regular season. I think he was our main one before Kenny came, 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 came back. I think so. I think Maybe. he might have gotten hurt or something. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, well, he he was out for a while. Yeah, but I know he he did that at Iowa. He returned a lot of kicks. I think they actually showed he was pretty pretty baller returning kicks right. too. I mean, Kenny is so. that guy. We know that. So he might end sure, up being the but... punt returner. You never know. Yeah. Let let uh, let Ken A return the kicks and him return the punts. I'd be fine with that. But uh, as I said, going into next year, I'm excited to see what uh, what the new special teams coordinator will do with our special teams. He will, he said he wants to make it more aggressive. I'm excited to see that. I want to see us go for more blocks. I want to see them let the returners have a little more free reign. With right. Zimmer, it might it may have been a hey if you return it when you're not supposed to, you're getting an earful. So yeah, I'm yeah. Hoping, I, I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be exciting to watch special teams. Yeah, I'm hoping so. I mean, I, I like I don't really know what being more aggressive I've, <laughs> aggressive means exactly. Just because, it's kind of, like, I'm assuming you go out there and you should just be blocking, but 
I mean, I guess hopefully we'll find out next year. I, I think he's talking about like more aggressive in like your punt blocking schemes, trying to get to the ball. Oh, to okay, block, okay, punt. that makes more sense. And, let, and letting, like return and letting them be a more like, hey, just get the ball and go. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think definitely. he's more in that type should, of deal. So I think we should definitely do that with the best kick returner in the NFL. So for sure, for sure. So I'm excited to see where it goes next year. Special teams is, as you see, it's very important with kickers, punters, all this stuff. It all works together. Everybody always talks about the three phases. Special teams is often forgotten. You can't forget about special teams. It can cost you a trip to the playoffs like it did with for us last season. So with that being said, that will do it for the Minnesota Vikings 2021 player reviews. Now it's time for the fun stuff. Now we're going to get into free agency, the draft. Oh, it's, it's going to be a wild ride. We hope you guys stick along with us for all of that. So in order to do that, though, like the videos, comment your thoughts down below on all the special teams. Most importantly, remember to hit that subscribe button right down here and check out some of our other videos right up there if you would. And uh, that's it. We will see you guys next week, and it's about to get good. So we'll see you guys, so, we'll see you guys later. Skull Vikes.